OK, now you might remember back in February we launched our Design a TARDIS console competition and the winner was picked by the doctor himself, Matt Smith. Here he is deliberating all the winning entries and that winner was Susanna from Lancashire. Look at her entry there, really nice. Yes, and her design will be turned into an actual console in an actual episode of Doctor Who. Before all that, the three winners of the age categories got to meet the new doctor at the Doctor Who headquarters. Back in 2009, thousands of you sent in entries to our competition to design a one-off TARDIS console. Flash forward to 2010 and our three winners have been chosen. Joshua from Gwent won the 6s and 7s category. His design was based on a garden table console with solar lights to save energy. My idea came from my bumpy's garden and the patio table. Lauren from County Down won the 8s, 9s and 10s category. Her design was based on lots of old gadgets. I got the, the idea for my design from my grand's house. She lives in a farm and there's kind of cool gadgets lying around. The favourite bit of my design was probably the clockwork bit with all the cogs that like turn together. The final category was the 11s to 12s and won by Susanna from Lancashire. Susanna is also the ultimate winner, so her design for a TARDIS console will be made later this year and then featured in a future episode of Doctor Who. It was incredible when I found out I was the winner. Remember sending this into Blue Peter for the Doctor Who competition? Well, we liked it. Um, my favourite bits of the design are how you start it, which is the coat hanger and the tea maker. These talented designers have come to claim their prize and meet the new Doctor, Matt Smith, at the Doctor Who headquarters. Hello. I'm the Doctor. And where better to meet him than inside the TARDIS? Hey, Josh, Laura, Susanna, come in. Hi, hello. Hi. You're Laura, aren't you? Yeah. Come on in. I was utterly impressed by... Look at you, you're a nice little boy. Um, I was utterly impressed by all your drawings. Brilliant, inventive, creative TARDIS design. So this is the TARDIS. Uh, we use this to steer. Have a go, you can touch anything. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. That is a friction contrafibrillator. That's ketchup, would you believe? That's mustard. <laughs> Right, who wants to who wants to start her up? In one, two, three. Fly. So, all of time and space, everything that ever happened or ever will. Where do you want to start? How do you learn all your lines for the scenes? Oh, that's quite tough. The learning of lines is quite tough because there's a lot. Because he says loads of stuff and it's always quite mad and bonkers. I know what I need. I need. I need. I need fish fingers and custard. OK, if you're saying uh, the biovolecular structure of this window is 10.9, you know, I go, OK, the biovolecular structure of this window is 10.9, the biovolecular structure of this window is 10.9, the biovolecular structure of this window is 10.9, <laughs> and then I, I just practice them over and yeah. over again and, and try and get them in my head. How did you get into acting and how old were you? Good question. I must have been about... 15 or 16 when I started to do it. And then I went and did a thing called the National Youth Theatre, and that made me want to go on and become an actor, really. What's the worst enemy? Well, uh, the Doctor hates the Daleks, of course, doesn't he? Um, but I think the Weeping Angels are probably yeah, the yeah, scariest, yeah. you know, and they're coming back. <laughs> but you're just a recording. You can't move. So, uh, well done to everyone. Brilliant, brilliant designs, inventive and creative and rather wonderful. Uh, but well done to the ultimate winner, Susanna, whose design is hopefully going to feature in an episode. When I met Matt Smith, it was amazing. I am looking forward to telling my friends all about it. It's incredible. I feel so thrilled that I've met him. Stick your tongue out, Osman. Go on three. One, one, two, three. Hello, I'm the Doctor, and I'm a very proud owner of the Blue Peter badge which uh, Amy Pond will be very jealous of. So, if you want to check out more about Blue Peter Pad, just go to the website, which is very cool. Peace. Bye. And he would know because he's an actual Time Lord. 
And I've got some very exciting news about Doctor Who. From your TV screen to your computer screen in four new downloadable games which are available on the Doctor Who website. You can control the Doctor and his assistant, Amy Pond. Yeah, this is an, a sneak preview because this is an early version of the game but they've let us have a look exclusively so nobody else is getting to see this it's not actually out until the 5th of june yeah and for more exclusive game footage just visit the blue peter website it's not to be missed helen